10 10 wood ready again all right here we go here we go guys all right three two one go Woo! all right so in world one the first point we will be looking out for is the mfp tunnel let me just get a second here i think we have louis audio so we are going to resort to the person who is in first i guess that seems the most common way and they're both taking the extremely safe 1-1 I don't blame them. That's how you probably should do 1-1 one, one in any race slash tournament settings. Uh, neither of them have used an inventory star. So they get the automatic point five, And neither of them have died yet. So they get that automatic point. The first point in World 1 that they can achieve right now. While it's also getting the same RNG. Narfman bumping on the overworld map. That could lose him the race. Just kidding. It's probably not going to affect him at all. Uh, the MFP tunnel is the first one we're looking out for. We got a point five right here waiting for both of them. It's got the name on it. We've seen them practice. We know the runners know how to do it. So they both have different cards. So we're not going to have to worry about a fanfare in world one, which excites me a lot. Getting the same RNG right now. Anyone's race. They both get early P speed. Neither of them go for the orb jump. Oh, but go back. Go back. Don't die. Okay. He's safe. Um, not expecting that. That is, uh, what's worse is he avoided the orb too and still took damage. So that's like a, that's a, like a lose-lose situation. So he's a little flustered right now. However, this time we have seen if, if Louie gets all three hands and Nerf Man doesn't, this time doesn't mean anything. All right, keep your eyes on Louie's screen. He's going to go for the MFP tunnel. My finger's right there, ready to give you the point. Jumped a little far. Took damage. Oh, man, dude. So he has to get the power up from... Uh, one six or else if he does if he forgets to then he might get screwed over the first power-up Which would drastically affect this run narf man on the left side going for the mfp tunnel. He did not do the duck input No, man, that was his chance. He was behind in time. Oh my god Louis with the death. How does that even happen, dude? Louis with the death right there Right there so he is now behind. Anything can happen. We've said it before, ladies and gentlemen. But Narfman has no idea he died. Yes, Louie needs to get that mushroom. Narfman getting a clean P speed. This is why you cannot watch your racers, guys. If you watch your racers... Um... Oh my gosh, Louie again! What happened? Don't worry, he's gonna dust it off, though. Let me go ahead and remind everyone, first of all, that that is unseen before. Second of all, when you die this early into the run, that means that you are set up to literally go for every single point. So it's kind of like, okay, gloves are off right now. He doesn't get the three point advantage at all, and we're not guaranteed that Narf Man is going to get it either. But hey, man, anything can happen right now. So gloves are off for Louie. He's gonna go for Jesus Clip, right? He's gonna go for Wendy. He's gonna go for everything. There, there should be no reason. Whereas Narf Man, he's gonna have to play it slow and scarce here if he's gonna want to get that three-point advantage. All right. Here we go. Normal. Normal airship here. Narfman already losing time right there. All right. Louis grabbing his first fire flower, which is pretty good. Although he did die, he can still get his power up uh, from world six. Oh, Narfman splish splash and he does make it though. So even though Louis did die, um, because he got his power up in world one on the ship and it is his first fire flower, he still can uh, get that world three uh, point. So he might not opt to do everything he still might not go for Jesus clip Let's see so he could go for Jesus clip but I don't know I guess we'd have to gauge it he might be behind so he might take a risk you never know you never know how it goes you guys you never know all right so the next thing we're looking for is the 292 in the pipe man let's see it from narf man uh, we saw in practice that they both made great work of two ones so let's hope that they can uh Let's hope that they can nail it. Oh, Narf Man making work. He's uh he's doing that level not a, a way that you would normally see. A lot of runners like to do a lot of the exact same strategies 
uh, for comfort here, you're going to see Louie doing it a little bit differently with the triple bop on the pile drivers. That's what they're called, guys. They are called pile drivers with the micro Goombas. Narfman not getting the best RNG. That's not exactly what you want to see, but let's see how he does. You got the 298, 297, 296. It's looking good. Keep those frame jumps. 295. Ah, that's the splish splash. Although he did not fall into the moat of tears. It is now Louis here, and he needs to make up these points. Although, ooh, the run up the hill back to natural base speed of 40. He's definitely not going to be able to get that either. Hot. Damn, no points yet for anyone, although Louie has lost points. So we're gonna see how this goes. Narfman getting the early P-Speed, the more difficult style P-Speed in the Fortress. You love to see that. You love to see it. All right, Louie's RNG might actually work out in his favor here. He's gonna go for the standard. Ooh, but does not get it. I think Louie might have been a little busy with a lot of other games uh, in the past couple days, so uh, he might be under practice. It's very possible. Uh, you don't normally see Louie uh, ever make mistakes like these. I mean, the P-Speed naturally, yeah, but uh, the double death in 1-6, you hate to see it. Alright, Narfman not going for the Red Rocket strategy as we unfortunately saw Stewie um, mess it up twice in his races, and that is definitely something you hate to see. He is the best Red Rocketer. If there's anyone I trust with the Red Rocket, it would be Stu. So both of them got the unfortunate RNG in World 2, where the Hammer Brother moves right after level 1, and then they are all mishmash. Uh, you don't know until you get to the Sun level which direction you're gonna take. Uh, you don't know which bro is which yet. So let's, uh, ooh, so Narfman is an annoying situation. He needs... One of the Hammer Brothers to go up, and the other Hammer Brother to go left, um, so he can get a comfortable decision on whether he should go down or up after the Sun level. And Louie is in an even worse situation. Louie has to get the most perfect RNG uh, for him to be able to do the Sun level, and I think have the Hammer Brothers switch. Then he fights the Hammer and goes up and does level 4, and he's got a hope. Alright, so Narfman not getting the outcome that I had mentioned. However, the Hammer Brother did tuck himself away behind the Pyramid, which is actually uh, pretty good for him. That's another alternative. It slightly changes the boss pattern. Oh my god, and the Hammer Brothers did the switch, and Louie does get the good RNG. Exactly what I had just mentioned is what he needed. So right now, he also needs uh, the Hammer Brother to move left for him to be guaranteed safe passage, and he is guaranteed safe passage. So is Narfman. However... There is a strategy. Ooh, there it is. There it is. Louis has now been officially stripped of all. Oof. That is it. The only big point advantage he can get, you know, with the three point advantage, is uh, the Jesus clip. So I can guarantee that I'm going to see Louis go for the Jesus clip, and he does get the good RNG. Um, as I was saying before, there is a good strategy that you can take uh, in World 2 where you go for. Oh, Louis, uh, forgetting how the pyramid works. This is uh, Bikini Babe Central. I think I should message him and tell him to uh, close that Bikini Babe calendar. Um, but is Narfman going to go for the music box? He, he is not going to opt out for the music box strategy in World 2. Um, I would say that that is definitely 100% a viable uh, option in this points, points tournament. Getting the music box can really, really help you out. But he's still getting pretty decent RNG. Alright, so the next point that they can get in World 2 is the 292, or sorry, 221 or higher on the boss kill. Very exciting. Very exciting. Um, so let's see, Narfman is in um, a boss pattern setup where he fought the Hammer Brother in between the castle and the pyramid where Louis is in a boss pattern situation where he's it's a normal pattern with the fire flower on the airship and i can't remember if it's a movement of two or a movement of three i think the hammer brother did actually move past no he didn't so this is technically a movement of two for him this is technically a movement of two pattern for Louis. um unfortunately if you don't practice the game a whole lot you will actually just you know naturally forget the boss patterns. You have to keep running the game to stay on top of them or else you get confused. So let's see what Narfman does. Alright, Narfman, here it is. 
I'm ready to give the point. He goes for the stomp. Ah, I don't think he'll be able to get it with that stomp. He does not get it. But he doesn't lose a lot of time. He does secure, and he doesn't take any damage, which is really good. I know Louie knows his pattern, so let's see what he does here. He goes for the shot. Double shot jump. Oh, he doesn't get it either! Strapped, strapped for the points here. This is incredible right now with the, uh, the points. However, Narfman does not only have um, a pretty good lead in time, but he also has the advantage of the three points in game one right here. If Louie can stack a whole bu- or sorry, if Narfman can stack a whole bunch of points here, that can just make game two just so hard uh, for Louie. And uh, all right, Narfman, go for the first frame jump. He does get it! First frame jump awarded that 0.5. Congratulations to Narfman. Right on, man. You'd love to see it. He's feeling happy right now. He's feeling good. With that world one uh, slip up with the damage, he's feeling good. Let's see if Louie can get it as well. Does he get the first frame jump? He also gets it as well. Right on, thank you. Ooh. Right on, man. You love to see it. They both get the point. Um, th which means that Narfan does not get to extend the lead anymore. Looking hot. Next point we need to go for is door three. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Hold on. Just give me one second, guys. All right, as we saw on Narfman's side, he did not get the fast P-Speed, and you can see how much it cost him there. Louie is now catching up. And it actually looked like um, Louie got like a battery or something, or maybe he put away the Bikini Babes, because he smashed that level, and he looks like, okay, never mind, commentator's curse. I am actually gonna stop talking now. <laughs> oh my god, Louie, what is going on? Is he playing on a flat screen TV? Maybe he forgot his CRT at home, I'm not sure. Alright, Narfman just dodging Runaway, bro. He's gonna go for door three. Can he get the second point in world three? Let's see if he gets it. He's gonna go for it. Does he get it? He does not get it! You hate to see it, you guys. You really hate to see it, man. He needs to get all these points. He has an opportunity as the underdog to stack as many points in this first game to make game two almost impossible for Louis. All right, Louis, he's gonna go for door three. Are you gonna get it? He does not get it. Uh, hold on a sec, guys. Let me go ahead and uh, I need to fix Louis' timer, it looks like. There we go. Looking good, guys. Looking good. I got the timer all fixed. No worries. Uh, it looks like uh, Narfman's timer also needs to be fixed. God, who made these timers so small? There we go. Looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Right on. We nailed it. Look at how fast that was. Super easy fix. Sorry, I'm not reading chat, so sometimes I might miss things for a little bit. Gotta keep the chat closed. Oh, Louie getting the runaway, bro. No, this is why you get the music box in World 2. J-I-C. But uh, Louie has a chance um, to have the, the Hammer Brother run back. So hopefully it runs back, does it? Ooh. Oh, it does run back. For a second, I thought it was just going deeper in there, but nope. Narf Man not getting runaway, bro. So he has a clean scape away from World 2 here. Or, sorry, World 3. All right, 4-3, not the hardest level in the book, so. Should be able to make some clean work. Narfman using the P-Wing, or the Cloud, he's getting out of there. And this level's a pretty casual level, but it's not so bad. Nice, and now Louie gets away with no runaway. I love, I love it when neither runner gets runaway, man. Runaway bro is the worst thing to ever happen uh, to Mario 3. However, he doesn't get locked out by the bridges, so he does have to go back around. A big you hate to see it.
Here's a chance right now for Louis to reclaim his title. If he gets this ace jump, he is back in the race. Oh my god! I have to stop talking, man. I'm trying to amp him up. I'm trying to psychologically connect with Louis, and it's not working. However, I will say the H jump was definitely not what was gonna push push him back in the race, but again, I was trying to connect with him. All right. So they are both out of World 3. Narfman still keeping his lead. He, he probably thinks he's behind, but he's actually been in the lead almost the entire time since World 1, right? Since after 1-6. So, what needs to happen right now is Louie needs to actually sweep back, take first place. And get some of these points, man. If he gets G if, if So, if Louie gets Jesus Clip, Narfman doesn't, and Narfman gets the three point, then again, it's still anyone's game. This race might actually come down to time. It might actually come down to first or second. We have seen it happen before. Oh, baby. I'm so proud of Mario 3 during these tournaments, guys. All right, okay, hold on. Let's see if Narfman goes to the windy point. He has not taken damage. I wouldn't blame him if he doesn't. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He is good. He is out of there. He's like, I'm not, I'm not interested in this point. That point takes a lot of practice for you to even feel comfortable with, so. And, um, I don't think Louie's gonna go for the Wendy point again because it takes practice, but I do feel like we're gonna see him go for a lot of the other points. So let's see what he does here. Two, four, six, eight, nine. He's going for it. Oh no, he can still do it though. Oh, and the backtrack. Oh, 209. Trolliest point in point history. However, he did go for it and there was no loss for him. He lost time, but there was no punishment for him to go for it. So it was a smart idea. However, Wendy is so all over the place. You hate to see it, guys. Narfman getting uh, Shell P speed in 4-1. Looking pretty hot. Looking pretty good. Doing an extra turn back there. Make sure he doesn't land on the shell. It's actually a pretty big time loss if you land on that green shell by accident. You will jump over the pipe or you have to do a pretty wide turn back. So, so Louis taking damage there. Not He's not going to be able to get a Fire Flower back until the end of World 4, which means he is going to be struggling for that ass point. There's a point in World 4 if you can do the first Fortress. You can do the first Fortress with a 288 on the timer, and it looks like it says ass right here. Look at that on the points. Looks like it says ass, so we call it the ass point. So we got the ass point, and we got do not get the Star Bro. If you get the Star Bro, you lose 0.5. And nobody's gotten any fanfares yet, so this is actually pretty good. I'm very excited here. Alright, Narf Narfman doing one of the most visually pleasing levels you've ever seen. Let's go here. Boom. Off that. Question blocks. Brown blicks. I was gonna say side jump, but he didn't side jump. Jump silver. Double bop. Duck jump. Swag jump. No! He popped off! Alright, he tried, okay? Dude, commentators curse today. Heavy, heavy commentators curse right now. All right, so I'm gonna do the opposite of commentators first. No one's gonna get a clip in World 7. Okay, so everyone's gonna get a clip now. Right on. Knife Man gonna use his hammer. Oh my gosh, Louie actually getting screwed over here with the star, bro. I feel like this is the worst outcome right now. Uh, that is why the punishment for the star, bro, is there. Because if the Hammer Brothers do uh, very interesting movements, you might actually get screwed over. I think we saw Haxer uh, get the triple Hammer Brother. Um, in it was either game one or game two where he couldn't even use the music box. There was no choice. So It happens so I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if Louis is gonna use this music box if the hammer brother does move up past the fortress We're gonna find out right here Okay, so he does and he's got to fight him punishment right there unless it's the p-wing which I don't think so Not the p-wing. It's gonna have to get punished right there. Unfortunately back down we got someone who's gone from a total point of 16.5 down to a 0 0.5 right now in race number one. Ooh, uh, Narfman in a pretty bad situation. Ooh, I don't think he's making the right call. It is very possible 
for him to have to fight the Hammer Brother after the Fortress, and that is also going to change his boss pattern too. Louis missing the Lakitu jump, which uh, could have given him a pretty good advantage because Narf Man uh, didn't get the Lakitu jump either, and that is a pretty heavy time loss in this level. Um, so that was a chance for Louis to catch up. Louis does get the pop jump and the super swim. As long as he doesn't get bopped here, he's pretty good. I think Narfman wanted to go for the P speed in the fortress, not getting it though. This is, um, I don't want to say this P speed is one of the hardest in World 4, um, but it is the most anticipated one because sometimes you do the same thing and it just does not work. Those stairs are very, um, rinky dinky. Louis going, you have to wait at the start of this level without a fire flower to get under that turtle. If you do not wait, you will run right into him. Oh, and exactly what I had said. Narfman having to fight that hammer, brother. Is it the star, though? I cannot remember. And he gets the star, so he is punished. All he had to do was 5-4. Or 4-5. If he would have done the bottom level, uh, he wouldn't have had that option. And it looks like he's making the right call, I think, going for the P-Wing. Um, however, he did use Music Box and P-Wing uh, with the stars, so he's going to have to fight the Hammer Brothers in World 5 uh, anyways. So, very interesting uh, move on going for that P-Wing. I think in case he got bad RNG at the start of World 5, he would have the uh, backup P-Wing. So, very interesting. A very interesting play on Narfman. Uh, incredibly rare, guys, that you would actually see... Um, both players getting screwed over by Starbro. It's, it's not, it's, it's a rare point. Uh, hold on just one second, guys. I will be right back. Enjoy the long auto scroller and Narfman's beautiful coin count. What is going, guys? What's going on? I figured since we were on the long airship, we can go and uh, just check out some points. Well, I'm smashing down this bacon and eggs. Tom Tate's gotta eat. All right, Narf, man. As long as you don't go through the boss, you should be good, man. This boss is famous for taking away your fire flower. All right, he makes it. Narf, man, is one world away from getting extremely good points. Once we get through uh, this match and we get into the semifinals, we can update all the players' points and their placements up until that point. It's gonna be very exciting. Very, very exciting. All right, Louis also doesn't really have anything to lose if he takes damage, but he does not want to take damage anyways, and he nails the fire kill. Right on. That's a pretty awkward fire kill considering the position, uh, the position he was in in World 4, yeah. We might see a good chunk of jitters here from Narfman. He knows he's one world away from big points. Yep, you can see it. You can see the. there's a lot of second guessing I've noticed in 5-1 uh, when you've not taken damage. Because 5-1 has this very weird way of just kind of cheaping you out on some inputs and some fire flower shots. You go to shoot the nipper and the fire flower goes inside the block. It doesn't kill it. The nipper jumps and it's just a bad... Ugh, it's horrible. So it's Louis' turn for it. Narf Man, probably not going to fall down the shaft of shame. Almost bonks his head, which doesn't mean you're going to fall. It's just a little scary. And Louis doing 5-1 a little bit faster than Narf Man. Louis has some catching up to do. He needs to get the Bikini Babes off the desk, and he needs to start looking at the TV and getting focused. That is his way. 
That's how he's gonna win this. No movement of four, that was a movement of two. Narfman also not with the movement of four yet. That sounded like a movement of three. Let's see if he goes to use the music box. I don't think he will. We can tell if it's a movement of four um, based on the next movement. So we are, we are pretty good. If we only hear movements of two, then if that was a movement of four, he will be beside the castle. If we only hear movements of two, and the Hammer Brother is not by the castle, we know he didn't move by the castle because he's got to get out of there, so. That sounded like another movement of three from Louis. So we are in weird situations right now with the points in World 5. So let's go ahead. That sounded like a movement of two. He does not have a music box. He's realizing what happened in World 4 just now. But I think Louis still has the music box. So the points in World 5 do not fall down the shaft of shame in 2 or 5-2. Uh, we got Jesus Clip for three points, and no movements of four are awarded a point five. Um, so let's see here. What do we got? A movement of what? All right. So we are actually going to find out from both races. Look at how much Louis catches up by not having to fight all of those Hammer Brothers. This race is incredibly close now. This is crazy. This entire tournament, all these runs and races, like... I don't think there has actually been an underdog. You love to see it. All right, I need to concentrate because I really need to see where these Hammer Brothers are. We have not seen any other official movements of four, so... Um, I think all the Hammer Brothers for both of them are on the right side. Yep, so Narfman has not got a movement of four yet and neither has Louie. So they're both on a one-way ticket. God, look at how synced they are right now. It's gonna be Strat versus Strat. Uh, uh, for oh, I don't know if Louis wanted to go for the big Strat or if he was just like, hey, do I go for the big jump here? Like, what's the consistent method? He might have confused the Strats. It could be anything, but he saved it. It's good. Narfman not getting a movement of two, or sorry, not getting a movement of four. Neither did Louis. Looking pretty good. Not getting P- Ah, oh, if Louis would've got P-Speed, that would've been his chance. All those little times for him to catch up. Looking pretty good. No coin ships. No fanfares. Looking pretty good. Got a movement of three. That's not a movement of four. Oh my gosh, Louis almost got the movement of four. Narfman not getting P-Speed. Does Louis get P-Speed? He does. Is he gonna single-handedly take the lead with P-Speed? That's how important P-Speed is, ladies and gentlemen. And he took the lead with P-Speed. Bumps on the pipe, though. Bumps on the pipe. Why do you reset if you don't get P-Speed? That is why we reset if we don't get P-Speed in levels. And he has secured neither of them with the movement of four. Congratulations to both runners. He goes for Jesus Clip. He doesn't get it. And he gets the death. As soon as he got the points, the points got taken away. You hate to see it. Narfman definitely not. Yeah, he's not going to go for Jesus Clip. And Narfman <clears throat> is back in the lead. We're going to go to his audio. Time for oh no, Louis with the nether death. Every time he makes some progress, it gets taken away from him. <clears throat> you do not love to see it. He wants the mushroom, but he doesn't want to take damage because he needs the fire flower. Incredible right now. What do you guys think? Is this practice? Is he getting hit with the practice bug, or, or um, do you think he's just having a, a, a shaky first race? Very interesting. Hey man, at least they got the awards for no movements. Now we have seen Stewie take damage on this airship. It is possible. Ooh, Louis almost taking damage. It's very good that he didn't take damage. Again, Louis is not behind by that much. He's not behind by that much. Alright, get P speed, making good work. Wow, we got through World 5 really fast, didn't we? Oh no! 
Louis losing that random piece speed. There's the fire flower that Louis needs. S save it for him, Narf man. Save it for him. <laughs> Alright, as long as Narf man does not take damage, as long as he secures his hammer kill, and is all he's got to do is enter the level with his fire flower. He can die in the ragu, he can fall off the elevator after. Oh my gosh. The hitboxes on those cannonballs are so jank, I would never do what he just did there. Yep, yep. Use the bullet bill, man. Bullet bills are, I find, to be a lot less janky in this. Again, the distance between the two racers is still the difference between no hands and hands, so that's pretty crazy. As long as Narf Man does not take damage here, let's see what he's about to do. He goes for the shots. Doesn't worry. Get the stop. Go see that stop! Nice! Oh my gosh, he got the wall clip, but he did not get his A input. Man, we have not yet seen an off-screen wall grab in this tournament. I, I cannot wait to see it. We almost saw two of them uh, from Zikabi in his last race. The first one, he had no faith in himself because he didn't do a full big jump. Second one, he missed the one, unfortunately. And it happens. Off-screen wall grab is not easy, ladies and gentlemen. It is not easy. Just because you got the wall jump does not mean you're guaranteed the wand. And when you grab the wand, just because you grab the wand up there does not mean you're going to get the screen wrap. You have to position it very nicely. Alright, Narfman is on a one-way ticket right here. One-way path to get these three points. He really needs them. Uh, this could almost secure a win for him. Ooh, don't accidentally equip the P-Wing because that will take your Fire Flower away. Doesn't get hit with the hammer. And it is looking good on Narfman's side. Look at that. My finger's right on the trigger. All he's got to do is enter the level. He doesn't get a marathon, enters the level, boom, gets the five points. Wow. Unless I'm missing some, but I do not think he took any damage. He feels good right now. He's like, oh man, I've been wanting to take damage so bad. <clears throat> feels good to take damage, right? Now he doesn't care. Uh, uh, well, what he needs to do is uh, he needs to not die, I guess. If he dies, that will really, really hurt him. All right, no marathon for him, which is good for time. He needs to make sure he doesn't get any marathons. Louis, gonna go for the fortress, gonna go for the duck jump. Try and get down there a lot faster. No P-Speed on Narfman's side. It's very, oh my gosh, Louis almost missed it. Wow. Oh, getting the fast jump. Gonna catch up a little bit of time here with this fortress. Yeah, even getting that uh, that early uh, block grab there. The star looking pretty good. Ooh, Narfman instantly getting screwed over. Takes a second to think about it. Not much you can do about it here, unfortunately. Not much you can do. Oh, is he gonna go for the mushroom? Didn't think so, because you want to equip the P-Wing here. All right, there you go. Equip the P-Wing. He's gonna go for the despawn strategy. Oh my gosh, Louis getting the P-Speed. Louis is actually catching up a good amount here with a couple seconds here, a couple seconds there. Narfman not getting the despawn. That is going to cause him to take some time here with the extra hammer, brother. So if Louis gets lucky here and doesn't mess up the despawn, he has a big time to save. I cannot tail swipe that block. And look at that right there. Louis is right back on his butt. Louis take, running on the hill. Does he get the despawn? He does get the despawn. That is a big catch up here. Narf man's got to do the last hammer brother here. Looking pretty hot. Right on. So is Louis going to get lucky here? He only wants the hammer brother that's facing left after this. Let's see what happens. Oh, so Louis is in a awkward 50-50. If the hammer brother moves up, he's screwed. If the hammer brother moves left, he is safe. Is Louie gonna get lucky? We've seen some people get pretty lucky, so let's find out. He gets lucky right on, so that is a big time advantage on uh, Louie's side. And Narfman taking two hits in the fortress, meaning he's gonna have to take a slightly safer 6-8 and boom boom kill. Uh, where Louie is just absolutely single-handedly catching up with so many seconds here. With a, uh, He's having a fantastic World 6. This is like a PB uh, World 6. Getting the fast boom boom kill. I think Louie's warmed up. I think he's warmed up. Ooh, Narf Man not getting that weird glitchy uh, block kill. All right, he goes for it. Doesn't get jank P-Speed, so he's pretty safe. 
Is he gonna grab this extra block here? He should have, but it's okay. He knows his strategy, so he is fine. There's a lot of different strategies you can do for safety in this level, but as long as you're comfortable, you don't have to take any of them. All right, is Louie gonna take damage for wall jump? He is not gonna take damage for wall jump. Very interesting. All right, come on, Narkman, wall jump first try. Is he gonna get it? He needs more points. Oh, he gets the clip, but not the wall jump. You hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. So now, right here, this gives a chance for Louie to just absolutely catch up right here with the P-Wing. Narfman gets the jump, does not let Louie take the lead. He says, you know what, but Louie's gonna have earlier P-Speed. Wow, very close here. So, let's see if Narfman actually goes uh, for the power up here and then the clip. If he does, Louie is definitely gonna catch up. Because he's just gonna take damage and run his way through. So, let's see what Narfman does. He has been practicing. He is going for it. Louie's gonna catch up right here. He's gonna pass him. They are almost synced. Look at them. Wow, they are absolutely synced right now. This is crazy. Oh! Oh my god! Narfman gets the clip! Wow! That is crazy, dude. That's the first one we've seen. Holy shit. Yeah, that's right. I just swore. Holy crap. Wow! What? Oh my god, he's probably- he's such a boss right now! Incredible! Wow! Look at the time save, did you guys see that too? Look at the time difference that clip makes! Holy crap! I had to take a bite of bacon after that one, guys. Bacon time. Woo! Narfman is making game two really hard for Louie. But you know what, guys? Maybe Narfman's out of work. Maybe he wants 500 bucks for playing Mario 3. I know I do. I know some of the other races do. All right, we got some people out of work. Some people trying to make some extra cash. What better way to do it but playing Mario 3? But Narfman is obviously not messing around anymore. That is the first, uh, 6 4, 3 clip we have seen. Whew, take a breather. I, although, I will say, Narfman, I feel like, is a little bit out of the loop when it comes to sub pixel manipulations. Let's go ahead and watch Narfman's Mario. See if he moves one pixel to the right while he's waiting for the wand. If he does do that, he will set up for sub-pixel manipulation. Let's take a look. Oh, he knows his sub-pixel! He's checking around! Okay, he gets it. Hopefully, he is on a good sub-pixel. I don't think he feels good about it, though. All right, Louie doing the sub-pixel manipulation as well. So, it could be anyone's game right now with the 7-1. If Narfman goes into a spiral of 7-1, Louie can definitely catch up. If Narfman goes into a spiral of 7-7, Louie can catch up. If Narfman goes into a spiral for 7-6 clip, Louie can catch up. So this could be anything right now. If Narfman gets hands and Louie gets none. So it could be anything right now. All right, Narf, are you going to get another clip? Let's see. What's going to happen? Oh, he messes up his jump. Unfortunately, he's, he's not able to do it. So let's see. Hopefully, he does not go in the spiral. Don't enter the level either. That would be really bad. Louie's going in first try. Is he going to get first try clip? He does not get first try clip either. We are in a 7-7 battle right now. Mom, get out of here. It's an epic mind battle. We are in a 7-7 battle. Oh, Narfman gets it first. Does not let Louie take the lead. However, Louie does get 7-1 after a couple tries of Narfman, which is very good for him. He was behind by a good solid 8 or 10 seconds. He is now closed the gap a little bit, or he is more behind. I can't tell right now. This race is too pog. Narfman using the P-Wing going for the fast strats. Don't blame him. He has the extra P-Wings. However, he does not do it optimally, which you're going to see Louie do it optimally. And watch the kind of lead that he is going to take from this optimal P-Speed P-Wing strategy. Look at him go. Narfman being able to recover from that, and look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Right there, he closes a good, like, eight seconds right there, just on optimal P-Wing strategies. Incredible. Incredible. That's a big time difference right there. The P-Wing is a very good strategy, and I would, I would encourage everyone to use it in these races, but 
If you don't use it optimally, I mean, it's not helping at the end of the day. However, Louis is small, so 7-3 is very easy, but when you're small, it's kind of annoying. One small hop, and uh, you're gonna get borked. But it looks like... Ne Ooh, he was very close to the back of those spinies. Right on. Looking good. Looking good. Alright, they're both gonna opt out for the uh, professional task inventory. Look at this. Super fast from Narf, man. I've never seen inventory so fast in my life. That was task movement right there. I couldn't even see what he was selected on. That was incredible. All right. <laughs> They're going for the fortress here. Looking good, man. They're synced back up. I We're going to have a 7-6 battle. I can't wait. Hopefully neither of them ran out of any mana because they're going to need it for this epic battle right here. Taking damage, going for the subpixel manipulation. They're going to move right one pixel. Then they're going to move right a little bit more to make sure they're on subpixel 3 to 10. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. All right, 7-6 battle. Oh, bumping on the map, losing the battle already. Ah, neither of them got a first try. We are in a battle right now. Narfman opting for the duck. Oh my gosh, he enters the level. This is... No! Die! P-Wing! Die! P-Wing! Narf, you have the extra P-Wing! You need to die and use the P-Wing! This is not the strategy. Oh, no! Alright, this, um... Ooh! Getting spike clipped here. Alright, Louis' turn. He's gonna go for the 7-7. Seven, seven. Let's see how it goes. All right, Louie, you need to get some points here, Louie. Get something. Right here, I'm fingers on the trigger. I wouldn't be surprised if Louie got a first try. That's like his thing. All right, not getting 7-7. Seven, seven. Narfman does not have a mushroom. Believe it or not, 7-7. Seven, seven. Getting the clip feels easier as small Mario because you have less of a larger um, uh, sprite to clip into the pipe, so it's easier to kind of like track your position. But, uh, it's much harder because you can't hold... Like, you could hold the down input, but as small Mario, there's no D2. Louis gets the 7-7! Seven, seven. He is back to zero points. He's gonna close that gap a little bit more with a, a big lead, especially if Narfman doesn't get it. Um, but to finish up what I was saying, as small Mario, it's very easy for you to accidentally go into the pipe. With Big Mario, you have this very large comfort of just holding down and you're good. You can do the same thing as Small Mario, but it feels awkward because you don't actually down. It's just a whole big mess. Narf Man using his P-Wing on the wrong level, but actually still the right level because he's got a P-Wing. He's got to use it. He's going for safety. He does not want to go for 7-7, which actually is the smart move. Um, mainly because if he does not get 7-7, uh, it can take him a very long time and he does not have a chance to take the win. Um... All right, here we go, Lou. Uh, third and fourth. Oh, he does not get it. So he's probably going to opt out of there. He needs... I don't know if he thinks he's in the lead or not, but he needs to keep his lead uh, to make the gap much smaller in terms of points. Whereas Narfman, um, he needs to catch up. However... Ooh, no, he's going for the 7-7. Seven, seven. He's going for the points, guys. He's going for the points. All right, my finger's there. Ready. So I think Louis is going to exit this world right now. He's got his original power up. Yep, he's good. All right. So Narf Man is actually behind by a good amount in terms of time. Um, he is ahead by so many points that it would have been in his best interest to not worry about this one point. Oh my god, but he gets it super fast! Wow! Narf Man's saying, you know what? You know what? My average points is very important to me right now. Because I'm coming back for season two after I win the $500. So I guess that's just how he's gonna play it. He's got the extra P-Wing. He's going. Again, I still think he should have taken the death. But we'll see how it goes. He takes the damage. Ooh, he almost gets that weird side clip. If he gets clip three and four, he has to go back and get the Fire Flower or this one. All right, he's going for it. Clip three and four. If he gets this, this is incredible. Oh, he does not get it, though. He does a weird turn back. Probably inadvertently gave him a bad subpixel, but who knows? Subpixels are all over the place. You never know how it's going to happen. He's got to grab this fire flower for it to be official. He gets it. He is good to go. 
So I know by the airship, he is less than two minutes behind, but he's definitely more than one minute behind, so... I'm sure you guys have a better idea. Right on. All right, we are on the slower, longer airship, so I think I can open up chat just a little bit. He's gonna use the music box. He's gonna use his cloud. He's got way too many stars in his inventory. I've never seen anyone with so many stars in Warpless. I feel like he went out of his way to get as many stars. All right, how's Chad doing? How are you guys enjoying this race so far? You guys having a good night? Right on. I'm really glad you guys are enjoying it. Whee! Best race ever. Lots of good races. All right, Lou going up for the kill. If he loses his power up, that is it. Don't get bonked! Okay, he's pretty safe. All right, he is good to go. Oh, go for the low off-screen wand grab. We are on auto-scroll ahead, so I do have some time uh, to chit-chat with you guys. Narfman's menuing is... That was some fast menuing. Did you guys get a kick out of that one? I was like, I built it up so hardcore and then Narfman just like sat in his menu for like a solid second. That was great, man. I love that. That was really fun. That was really silly. Uh, Louis actually has four deaths, unfortunately. Louis has the four death. He's lost the total of, uh, what, three? Three points? Hey, sometimes the chat's the judge. Sometimes chat's the judge. Alright, Narf man, he does not want to take damage here. Shooting those rogue fireballs for the lulls. Oh, go for the off-screen wand grab. All right, I will see you guys on the other side, chat. We'll see you guys on the other side. All right, Louis. Yeah, is he gonna go for D-like strats? I know he knows them, but does he care uh, in a tournament style like this? And again, let me remind everyone, the runners do not know uh, the position they are in right now in terms of their racer. Looking pretty good. Let me get this bad boy out right here. All right, they're both on Tank Brigade 1. Tank Brigade 1, I don't actually know the exact length of it, but it's definitely over a minute right now. So if you guys check whenever Louis enters the pipe, he's gonna go for the Wrangless. He needs to get some points, get out of the zero. He does not get Wrangless. If the Boomerang Bro moves backwards, there is no hope for Wrangless. Now, if Narfman gets Wrangless, that is just absolutely cruel in terms of RNG. All right, Louis turn on the Navy. So he's gonna be the first one cross the hand, so now you guys can get your guesses in if you'd like. Um, let the world know what you think is going to be the hands RNG for this race. You always like to see someone get no hands, it's always a good time. Yeah, don't get that leaf there. That's very dangerous. Yo, Louie with the combo, the double shot. Ah, oh, he almost combos again. Almost went for the double combo. All right, Louie. Louie. Louie, you gotta get some points here. Look at this card. This card brings tears to my eyes. You got this, buddy. He, although he will... He, I mean, he's on the right path for the win, so we can't guarantee that he's gonna get the win, but he will, you know... Probably get the sub-60, maybe original power-up. He will get something. All right. As long as he doesn't take damage. All right, it is Louis' turn at the hands. 
Unfortunately, Narf Man is behind to the point where Louis could get all three hands and Narf Man still wouldn't catch up, so... Um, we're gonna have to make some magic here. He is an auto-scroller behind and you'd hate to see that. Alright, Louis, come on, man! No hands! Do it! Yeah, I got no hands! Woo! Dude, you love to see no hands, man! I love to see it! No hands! That's what I'm talking about! It's about time you got a freaking point, Louis! Back in the game! Bikini babes away! Alright? Right on. Right on. Alright, he's on the fast airship. So Narf Man really, if he wants to get any of these time points... Yeah, Navy's a little bit longer than you'd hope for, right? <clears throat> Although it is pretty short level. Alright, going for the double shot. Alright, so it's gonna be Louis's turn first at 8-1, 8-2, and 8-4. 8-1 is definitely uh, the more difficult level in this world just because of the way you get P-Speed and how you keep it and... You got the bullet bill launcher with the one tile. Ugh, it's so frustrating. Especially as a beginner when you learn it. 8-1 is a nightmare to learn. All right, it's going for the safe body rub. Double shot, single frame shot, get P speed. The bonk. Oh, that's exactly what I was talking about. That is exact, and he takes the damage. Man, what the heck? Narf man getting the 99.9% .9 hand right there. I, that's exactly what I said when you do the P speed with that one tile with the bullet bill launcher. Oh my gosh. So what happened there is he slightly let go of down a little too early, or he clipped into the corner of the bullet bill launcher. You you don't know for sure. It's really hard to tell. That that mistake is hard to fix uh, because you don't know all the time exactly what it is. You could clip or you could be letting go of down early. Uh, you never know. <clears throat> Alright, taking it slow there after taking damage. Oh my god, with the small, the sun's not gonna go again though. He looks pretty safe. Okay, he's good. So Darth Man, or Louis does not have the leaf, so Louis is gonna have to do the double room um, shenanigans here with the wraparounds. He's gonna have to go in a circle in the fortress here. Uh, taking it slow, as long as he doesn't die here, miss any A inputs, he should be pretty good. Unless he's gonna do two cycle P-switch, which I don't think is the actual strategy. Uh, yeah, I guess he's gonna go for the two-door. I actually don't know for sure which one is faster or slower. Um, that'd be- that's a weird thing to time. I think- ooh, ooh, we have seen that. That door, for some reason, is a Super Mario World door. You never know with that door. Alright, Narf Man only getting one hand. And finishing the Air Force. Still has the original power-up, although he doesn't get any hands. Uh, Narf Man also didn't get Wrangless, right? I'm pretty sure- I'm pretty sure uh, Narf Man also didn't get Wrangless either. Wrangless is like pretty rare. All right, Narf Man going for the P speed. He didn't do the duck, but he does get the jump. Oh man, he does some weird uh, movement, and uh, he nails it. He nails it. Very nice. All right, there we go. Louis is the first one to see Bowser's castle here. Narf Man, is he gonna take the sand of shame just to be safe? He does have the original power up. He's not. Going for Sand of Shame! Oh man, let's see what he does here. Is he gonna go for first music note? No, he's not. Okay, he's gonna go for the same- <gasps> He almost- Wow, oh, the sun's blocking everything! Look at that goalie right there! Jeez! And that sun's annoying. Alright, let's hope he doesn't get a weird pattern. The sun is already on the right. Oh my gosh. Alright, he's safe. And that's scary. These runners are gonna have to change their diapers after this. My gosh, dude. Well, it's speed running. You, you gotta wear you gotta wear your speed running diaper, right? When you you're stuck there for an hour, you can't go anywhere. How else how else are you gonna go, you know? Use that patented speed. It's going for fast P speed! He does not get it though. Man, oh, oh that door, dude. That door is such a troll. Alright, so the last point that Louie can possibly get is the elevator clip. Oh Narf Man! Dude, I- Oh no! He's- Oh, well he can do the double door still. He can do the double door, but he is also not going to get the point either. Damn. Yep, go back in. 
Grab it. All right, Narf, man. Or sorry. All right, Louie. Let's go. Elevator clip. Come on, Lou. No, oh, he does not get it. it. This is just not Louie's game. Although I think considering what happened to him at the start, <clears throat> I think he's doing pretty well. And uh, it's honestly good that he finishes the race. A lot of people could get tilted and, and say, you know what, heck this, man, I'm done. Uh, but Narf Man should be safe for the sub sub 60 here. So they're going to get the same points for time. But it looks like Louie might get the extra points uh, for first place here. We're going to have to find out. Hey, look at the bright side. Nobody got fanfares, right? Something to look, look forward to. Right on. There you go. Whee! Louis killing Bowser. Louis gonna finish with a time. Louis gonna have a time of 55. What is it? Come on. 55.28. Louis with a 55.28. So he gets the first place race and sub with the 3.5. 3.5 points. Right, it's Narf's turn. Ah, <laughs> Louie. All right, Narf Man really pushes his points even further here if he gets the elevator clip. There's still some points that, that Narf Man can get here. Bumping on the overworld map, that's not gonna get you closer to the Bowser. But he's in there now, so it's all good. Does he get the elevator clip? First try, it's right here. Ah, oh, he does not get it either. Shuck sores, you hate to see it. All right, he has lost his, his power up in world eight somewhere already. Um, so he will not be able to uh, be given that point. So the only points that Narf Man can get here is second place, which he's guaranteed. Unless he just gives up right now, which I highly doubt. And it looks like he's hitting the sub 60. Unless he dies. And then dies again or something. Oh, if he died, that would be really bad for his points too. Not taking damage on Bowser. He's going to go for the Bowser kill. And he gets it. So Narf Man is awarded second place in sub 60. Look at that right there for Narf Man. A 9.5 game. He's going to finish with a time of 57. Fifty-seven, sixteen. All right. Damn, what a first race. Dang, dude. All right, just letting the racers know what their points are and their respected times. 9.5. That is going to be really, really hard. That is going to be really hard for Louie to, to bring this back. Wow. However, if they do manage to tie, Louie has a big advantage uh, for average time right now. You have to remember, average time on three, or on go from three. Let's go. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Go! All right, these guys are ready and they are just about to start race number two. Let's go ahead and say they have not used any stars and they have also not died. All right, also, Louie's gotta be warmed up. Okay, he's not even going for pipe rub. Let's go. And again, remember, uh, Louie's time was um, really good if they tie up points here. If they tie up points, uh, Louis can single-handedly take the lead based on time. So while time isn't everything, time is a pretty large factor in some uh, circumstances. We have seen a match that did tie up in points in this tournament already. 
where the difference in the average time of the two races was like 15 seconds. Oh, look at this sync right now. Beautiful. Look at this. Absolutely epic. Oh my gosh. Everything the exact same. Same turn back, but different card. Nice game. Love how it worked. It just goes to show that one turn back was faster than the other. Louis bumping on the overworld map, causing him to lose the entire race. If he loses this whole race, I'm going to blame it on that bump. All right. Looking pretty good, though. They're both having a pretty safe time. And they get through right on. Right on, looking good. All right, the first point to get in World 1 is the MFP Tunnel. That is what we want to see, the MFP Tunnel. All right, Luke getting bad RNG. Oh, Narfman almost using the Warp Whistle. Would have caused him to reset. All right, here we go. They're, they're so synced right now. We're going to have to, like, double watch for Tunnel. Narfman almost losing P-Speed. Louis not getting it. Narfman getting the Tunnel. He secures some more... Points. He's just making it impossible for Louis. Holy crap. And they sink it up again. Look at the tunnel. Louis, Narfman was behind by a little bit. The, the tunnel allowed him to catch up. Absolutely incredible. They both have decent RNG in World 1 here. They're, they're not going to have to have a weird pattern with the boss. Absolutely synced right now. Look at this. Look at this epic pogness. Holy crap. Looks... <gasps> Narfman! No! Just as he was getting his points, boom! He's gonna have to remember to get that mushroom, man. I'm not mushroom, man. Okay, he's got it. All right, Louis. Louis making his way. Narfman just did the exact same thing that Louis did last run. Absolutely incredible. You hate to see it, right? But it's so weird how they both have had the same death. Man, oh man. Narfman getting some pretty good RNG, though. Getting some pretty good RNG there. Mm -hmm. Alright, looks like they both have their original power up. What does it look like? Technically, Louis has a 4.5. 4.5 versus a 10 right now. 4.5 versus a 10. Oh, sorry, never mind. A 5. 5 versus a 10. I can do math. I did math one time, I think, before. I can't remember. Alright. This, guys, there's just so much to focus on. This airship is just way too intense. And like, I've only done math like maybe two times in my life. So I'm, I'm working my way up on the math scale. All right, Louis getting a nice, good uh, good old fire kill. Nothing too crazy. Narfman not getting the same treatment. Oh my gosh, he almost got damaged there. If there's a couple things I know about this boss, I know he's very finicky with the way that he hits you when you're standing over top of him. Yeah, I just learned about math like two days ago. It's the first time I ever heard of it. All right, here we go. We got 2-1 on the board right now. And they both have made really good work on 2-1 here. Louis going for the D-Lag strategy. However, he did a turn back, so no time saved. And on. All right, he might get a flower here. Seems like how this game works. Does not get the flower, though. Narfman very close behind, so let's see what kind of RNG we're going to get. Louis wants a 292 in that pipe. He needs to hit a 292 in this pipe. Let's see what he gets. Also, the Hammer Brother moves to the right. Not what you want to see. All right, goes 298, 297, 297, 296. Still 295, 294, 293. Oh, he didn't do a full big jump. He could have got it. He was above base speed. If he did a full big jump, he would have got it. Unfortunately, he ran on the ground and slowed down. Narfman also not getting uh, the good RNG. Let's see if he gets the 292. He goes for the slide. Big jump, 297. Still 297, 296. Five. Oh, I think he's lost too much speed now. Oh, so close, but they do not get it. You hate to see it. All right. Here we go. Here it is. Oh, is Narfman going to get that famous no-death early hammer? 
Wouldn't you love to see that in this tournament? A no death early hammer. You, I, you, would you even know what to do at that point? That would be incredible. All right, Louis needs this good RNG here. He does get the good RNG. He doesn't. Oh, he's going for the. Yes, see, this is the strat, man. He's going for the music box for no runaway, no extra weird movements. Not a bad play, man. You definitely like to see this kind of kind of play here. All right, maybe he gets the post two two three. Let's see if he gets it. Let's see what happens to Narf, man. He's got no death early hammer. Nope. Nope. You, you would have had to see him move back over the Mushroom House again. But that was only one Hammer Brother. Two Hammer Brothers have to do the same movements. It's really hard to track both. <gasps> Louie taking damage and he loses. He loses that three point potential in World 6. Whereas Narf Man has not taken damage yet from the original Fire Flower power up. You hate to see it. And the Hammer Brother is in the worst place possible. When the Hammer Brothers in between the pyramid and the castle, you don't know what to do. You don't know you don't know which direction to go, so you have to just play it by ear. Depending on where the Hammer Brother moves, uh, Louis has to follow. All right, here we go. Sun's moving down, getting some buffer. Someone's splicing, splicing his run. Nah, he's looking pretty good. Nah, he's looking pretty good. He made it. I'll catch you. We'll see for next time. All right, Narf man, let's see what he's got. He's got to go down. He's in a very uncomfortable position. Louis going for a swim right there. It's a little hot in the desert, so he needs to take a little dip. Maybe uh, wash off some of that sweat from the nerves here, but he's looking pretty good now. Right on. Being as neither of them fell into the uh, mode of tears. So Narf man's got to hope the Hammer Brother stays where he is or moves right and down. Whereas Louis is getting exactly what I mentioned before, absolutely debated by these Hammer Brothers. And Narfman seems to be uh, in the uh, clear here. Alright, this time Louis does remember that the Pyramid has blocks there, so he grabs the shell. Looking pretty good. Louis's de Louis definitely having a much better uh, second race here. But just some unfortunate things. All right, here we go. Get, make him work of the pyramid. Remember, the next point in this world is a 221 or higher fire kill. Narf Man is in the exact same position as he was last time. So if he remembers, he will know what pattern he gets with the boss. Uh, it's hard to really be focusing on that kind of stuff. I don't think he's going to be thinking about that. Um, but if he is, he has a chance to get this point. Um, based on getting the same outcome as last time. Louie is getting a weird 100% pattern with the boss. Uh, which I've learned from Warpless when he gets screwed over. However, he doesn't have the Fire Flower, so it might be uh, extra weird. Um, so what I'm going to assume that the boss is going to do is he's going to run forward and drop into the pit, allowing Louis to do like a jump shot and then stomp and try and get the fire kill. Um, yeah, so for Louis... Or what, what's going to happen to Louis is the boss is going to run and fall into the pit. And what's going to happen to Narf Man is the boss is going to run just a couple steps and then take a shot. Narf Man is in one of those weird, awkward uh, fire patterns. So there's, uh, hopefully they know their patterns. If they know their patterns, um, they know what they can do here. Alright, make him work. Now Louie's gonna get out of here first. He's got his Fire Flower back. He is happy. He's probably feeling a lot more comfortable. Let's go ahead and watch. Let's see Louie's pattern. Again, I think he's gonna fall into the pit, giving Louie a chance to shoot, jump, shoot. Yep, jump, shoot, shoot. He's gonna get it. Oh man, he gets launched. Now it's time for Narf Man. He runs forward a bit. He takes the shot. He is not gonna be able to get it either, unfortunately. Damn, they should have they should have messaged me. Mitch, what are my patterns gonna be? It's okay, it happens, man. Dang, they need those points. They definitely need those points. Louis not getting the first frame jump in 3-1.
gives Narfman the opportunity to gain more points on him. Does Narfman get it? Narfman gets it a second time! That is two runs in a row where he gets the tunnel, I think, and he gets the jump. He might not have got tunnel last run, but he definitely got the jump both times. Narfman is making it very hard for Louie, especially with those deaths. The next points we're going to be looking for is door three, and then the awkward, awkward Wendy kill. Hey, nobody says you gotta go for the Wendy kill. Louis maintaining his lead. He's gonna go- Ooh, he gets the really fast P-Speed strategy. Looking hot right now. That is a very difficult strategy to pull off. He almost misses it! Oh my gosh, but he saves it. Looking good, man. Looking good. Narkman not getting the fast P-Speed strategy. Will he go through a cheap cheap? Hopefully he does not. He's gonna land on that one, and he should be safe here. Not through- Oh, thank god. Those cheap cheaps are definitely cheap. And he's waiting to go in the pipe. For the lulls, getting a little scared there. All right, Louis' turn at the 3-3. Three, three. Louis got the speed, but does he have the points? That's the question. Not getting a coin ship, which is good. Running on the pipe, he's not gonna keep P-Speed through it, unfortunately. Now, Narfman, Narfman's gotta watch out. He might get 44 coins here. If he gets 44 coins, oh man, and he hit the block. If he gets 44 coins here, this could be really... Okay, he's safe. Wow. Hitting that block put him right in the 44 path. Louis is going to go for door 3. Is he going to get it? He needs this. He does not get door 3. This game is just not working for him today. He needs those points really badly. Alright, Narfman's turn for door 3. Is Narfman going to get door 3 and give himself even more points? He's going to go for it. He gets it! Oh my god, he gets the door three! Wow! Holy crap! This is incredible! Uh, neither of them are looking really hot right now for Runaway Bro. They're actually looking really good. Uh, Narfman in a good position. Louis also in a pretty good position. Although we have to see what Louis' movement is here, right here. Alright, he is safe. Unfortunately, he is getting a water battle. You'd hate to see that, but it happens. Narfman not getting a water battle here. Bumping on the overworld map. Not getting places with those bumps, man. But, like I said last last match, it is very hard to get through an entire run of Mario 3 without bumping on the overworld map. Uh, Super Mario World uh, turned it into baby mode with the overworld map where it's automatic movements. Where Mario 3 is not. You are in full control of everything you do in Mario 3. Except for the fun auto-scrollers. Narfman having to take extra map movements, but he's probably happy with no runaway bro. And now Louie also no runaway bro. And he is out of there. He is, still has the lead in time, so he is looking hot right now. He is looking very hot right now. Alright, they're both in the same level. You love to see that for a nice close race. Unfortunately, Narfman has taken a death, but... That death has caught him up, plus Louie has taken damage, where Narfman has not. So, Narfman can still get an, an additional three points if he makes the world six. Oh! Louis almost taking the damage there, but he does the smart uh, duck input. You gotta watch out for this beginning of this level, it's pretty difficult. Get the H jump! Making his ancestors proud. Narfman also getting the H-Jump, catching up a little bit, shooting that fireball, grabbing the block, causing a little bit of extra leg. I would not recommend uh, doing that in the future speedruns, Mr. Narfman, but... Hey, man, this is game two. For the 500 bucks, he can do whatever he wants, right? Oh, and he gets the mushroom with a duck jump. Now he doesn't have to do a turn back for at least three more cards. Take a sip of my sodi pop. Let's go. So Louis has not died, so he he might not go for the Jesus clip, but he has taken damage, so he might go for the Jesus clip. He might know that he's behind, so it's very possible for him to uh, see you know see what he does here. But I don't recommend it. So Narfman can still get his points in World 6 because he's he died before he got his original Fire Flower. 
Uh, it's keep your first fire flower until the fortress in world six. And uh, Narf Man died before getting his fire flower. And so did uh, Louie in the first game. They have not died, or he has not lost... He hasn't taken damage since the first fire flower. That, that is why. Whereas uh, Louie has taken damage and has acquired a second fire flower. So he does not get the point. Just uh, let me clear that up. Sometimes on auto scrollers, I'll take a quick look at chat and uh, answer a question. Right, that was a very good question. All right, let's see if Louie goes for this point here like he did last time. We got two, three, four. No, he missed one. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, he takes damage. Oh, no! Takes the death for the Wendy point. He is going to have to do an extra pipe transition. Takes the death, loses the point. Luckily, he doesn't have to cross the bridge. Thank goodness. All right. This auto scroller is pretty short. He loses his time lead from that. This could be the deciding factor. You definitely want to practice those Wendy points if you're going to go for it. Ouchies. All right. Narf Man definitely did not opt for the Wendy point. Um, it, however, he does have a huge amount to lose here. Is he going to go for the Shell Strat? He's going to go for the slower P-Speed strategy in 4-1. And he gets it right on. Right on. Um, all right, let's go ahead on, uh, let's go to Narf Man's audio. Louie making us watch the second airship. You hate to see it, though. Um, so, let's see if he knows Wendy kill without Fire Flower. You go for the quick duck jump. He goes for the stomp. Is he gonna go for the point, though? I wouldn't go for it. He's gonna go for another jump. He's gonna, he's waiting for it. 13, 12, 11. Oh, he just misses it. Dang, dude. Oh, man. He got robbed twice. You hate to see it. It happens. It definitely happens. Not working out the way you had hoped. That Wendy point. All right, Narfman going for the swaggy 4-3 P-Speed strategies. Let's see if he gets it. Doesn't get the side jump, but that's okay. Runs up the hill a little bit. Oh, pops off that. He's got to do a turn back. Does not take damage. Is he going to bump that? He does not. All right. He does that level much better than he did last time. Much better. All right. So what we're going to need to see from Louis's side. All right. He's, he's got to, he's going to, he's got to get all the points here. He's got to get off screen wand grab. He's got to get everything now. He can win. He can still win. He's just got to get everything from here on out. It is very possible to get the ass point if you just simply take damage and do thwomp skip. If you don't, if you don't do thwomp skip, or if you do th thwomp skip, uh, that's so hard to say. Thwomp, skip. If you do that at the end of the first fortress in World 4, um, you will actually be able to keep P-Speed the entire time, which means you might get the point. So we might see him actually go for that. The, the swamp, the swamp skip. All right, Narfman uses his music box. He's not going to get screwed over in War World 4 like he did last time. So it's looking pretty hot right now. Uh, being able to cleanly, but he will not have the extra P wings that he did that he had last time. Uh, it's looking like Louis is actually having a pretty good, a decent RNG world for as well, which is what you can hope for. Bad RNG at the start of every world is like super, super low morale. It makes you feel crappy, and I feel like sometimes it helps you play worse, just knowing that you are you're not going to save any. Oh, Louis doing the wall rub, taking the damage. He's flip-flopping, but he makes it. He's good to go. Can he do the ass point? He could use a star, but that, that's that's all he's got left. That's it. He's just got the star reward. If he uses the star, that's it. It's over. Nah, he's out of there. He's like, I'm out of here. All right, Narf Man getting to the World 4 airship, making good work of World 4. Look at that. But he is short a P-Wing, so what is he going to do is the real question. Louie, this is a very scary level to be small Mario. You can get a Lakitu shot. 
And if that happens, because he's not going to be able to do any super swims, he should be able to get this extra boost right here. He does get it. All right, let's see what happens here. Is he going to go down? Is he going to do a double swim and go over? Yep, double swim, go over. All right, don't get sniped. All right, he is safe. Wow. Narfman not able to acquire the Pog coin count. Kind of makes me sad here a little bit. All right, here we go. All right, Louis is in a pretty good position as well. He does have the extra music box. All right, does the stall. Remember, we mentioned last race, you have to wait at the beginning of this level. Luckily, he does. Oh, he's going to go back. Oh, he takes the damage, but he's going to go for the star. Uh, that damage actually means he's not going to be able to get his fire flower back. This is, um, this is big sadness right here. He, he did want to introduce a new backup kind of peace speed strategy. I don't think it's new. I think we've seen a couple others uh, do it as well. So no points for either of them in World 4, but also no punishment for either of them. So Louis can go crazy for fire flower right here. He can get this mushroom and then he can go inside the hidden doorway. Grab Fireflower, then go back through the door, and then finish the level. Let's see if he does it. No, he does not do it. There is a Fireflower, though. He can go in that door, uh, jump up really fast, grab the Fireflower, go back down, go back through the door, and finish the Fortress. That is something he could have done there. But he is opting not to go for that Narfman in the jump. Narfman has one world left to get those juicy points those juicy juicy points as long as he doesn't go through the boss here which is very common almost I feel like he almost went through it he's safe though hope the off-screen wand grab does not get it all right justice narf man finishes the airship Louie enters the airship that gives us a beautiful opportunity to watch so we do not have to watch these auto scrollers Ooh, that has been awesome. Two of the runners giving us really, really good chance here. Very nice of them. Very, very nice of them. All right. So as long as Narfman doesn't take damage in this world or get movements of four, he should be pretty good. Bumping on the overworld map already. The, the frightened turn. Oh my gosh, that chain chomp almost ended it all right there. Five one man, it's really hard to not take damage. It's a it's a difficult level. Doing the turn back, go for the P speed. Louis doing the doing the big bouncies on the airship, making good work. He's got to get through it. He has got to get through it. All right, no movement of four on Narf Man's side. That's a that's kind of good news. Sometimes sometimes he moves out of the way right away. No shaft of shame. The shaft of, what do we call it? The shaft of despair. Shaft of depression is what it should be called. Go for the slide strat. Nails the slide strat. It's a good jump and he is in the pipe. He is on his way. Unfortunately, you guys get to see how big of a lead Narfman has when you die on an auto scroller. You definitely hate to see it. Pretty hot. He's gonna go into the fortress. As long as he doesn't take damage. All right, Louis' time at the boss. Do not go right through the boss. That would really suck. Oh, he almost got hit. Go for the off-screen wand grab. I mean, he could have. Off-screen wand grab. If you manage to wall jump with the tail, you could jump to the center of the screen and kind of flutter, and it would give you a much higher chance uh, to grab that wand. It'd be a little bit easier, in my opinion. I think that was a movement of three. I don't think that was a movement of four. Also, Narfman getting very lucky. Very, very lucky. All right. Louis back in action, man. He's in there. All right, taking the intentional damage because he does not want the leaf. Our Narf Man is making his way through the Twisty Castle, so Louis is behind by about three levels and a Hammer Brother. Let's see what happens here. Is he going to take damage? He does not take damage. 
So not having Fire Flower here in Warpless isn't as bad as we used to think it is. However, he's not going to be able to use the stars. So I wonder if, if he is familiar with this kind of setup where he could get a leaf from 5-5 five, five, uh, and then damage boost 5-7 to go fast. All right, looking pretty good. All right, Narfman is not unstoppable right now. Although Narfman has... Narfman has actually gotten the primary P-Wing, so if he gets a coin ship here, that'll be very bad for him. No, he did a turn back to get 89. Very smart thinking. He did not get the coin ship there. Louis getting movements of one, allowing him to gain some time back. Oh, Narfman! Again, the movement of four, he's not going to be awarded that point. Whereas Louis is going to use the music box to put those bro bros to sleep. Narfman with the, with the swag shots. No need for it, but he's killing all the enemies. The poor plants. Dang. 96 coins versus 73 coins. Not that the amount matters, but you gotta watch for those coin ships, right? No coin ships. Darkman getting another movement of four. Not gonna happen. Boom, he's not taking any damage. Oh, he missed his jump there, but that is what he wants to do. All right, now it's Louis' turn to go through the pyramid. Or the Twisty Castle, I'm sorry. Gonna make some heavy work. Where Narfman is keeping that 2 to 3 level lead on him right now. Although, Louis is definitely getting better Hammer Brother movements, which is big, juicy time. Catching up here. He's obviously not gonna go for Jesus Clip, right? Alright, he is not Stu. That is incredible. Oh boy. Narfman is so close to those 3 points again. The Tribone's trying everything. Everything right now is trying to take away that three-point lead that he's got. Well, not for sure yet. But the advantage. He's gonna have to do the wraparound. Extra map movements as long as he doesn't take damage here. He stalls a little bit to make sure that the Hammer Brother, because if he hit that block when the Hammer Brother wasn't on it, he'd fall through. He might end up taking damage, so it could be really unfortunate. Oh man, Narfman might actually activate a coin ship right here! He might actually lose 0.5! Let's see what happens! Does he jump into the pipe? He does not! So I don't think he's gonna get it! No, he does not, okay. If he- Oh, watch out! Oh my goodness, this is crazy right now. Uses Cloud with his uh, hyper speed inventory. It's okay. In runs like these, you never know where your where your items are and everything, so it's, it gets pretty crazy. Ooh, damn, Louis with the movements of four as well. So there's not much he can do about it. Ooh, wanted to grab the shell. It kind of looked like he opted out to grab the shell. It kind of looked like he was like, nah, screw that shell. Like at first he was like, yeah, let's get the shell, and then now he's like, nah, I don't need the shell. So he's definitely gonna go for the Jesus clip here. Come on, bud. That's that's some good points for you. Where is it? Right here. Right here. Come on. The three points. With that Jesus clip. Come on, it's right here. Go for it. Oh! He's a little too far left on the block. He needed to be a little bit more to the right. And he keeps getting the movements of four. You love to see it. You love to see it. Bringing it back down to that minus five. Narf man. He's like literally a minute away from getting that chunky three point. All right, I don't think Louie's gonna take another death here. Yeah, he's looking a little safe. Last time he was a little uh, wishy-washy, but it looks like he's making some pretty good work of it. Boom. Boom. Oh, going for the off-screen wand grab. Not getting it. Boom. Right on. Narf man. Narf man is actually only plus 17 behind his PB. So, and Louie just constantly getting the worst Hammer Brother movements in World 5. He got the movement of 4. He moved back. Died from Jesus Clip. Got a movement of 4. Beat the Fortress. Got another movement of 4 anyways. Just really, really annoying. Really, really annoying. But no coin ships from, from either of them just yet. We'll see how this goes. All right, Narf Men, do not take damage on that Hammer Brother, man. 
You take damage on that hammer, brother. That'll be it. Better watch out. Don't equip the P-Wing. That would be even worse. Yeah, he's gonna delay right on. Making it cleanly. There we go. He's got it. Right? He's got it. First flower. From world one. Boom! He nails it. Oh, that's right! You remember that? That was really good to see right there. Really good to see. You ate and love, but ate to see it. Oh! Watch out, bud! Yeah, missing that star. Oh man, if he would have jumped, he could have actually died right there. That would have been really, really rough. Right, looking pretty, looking pretty hot. Louis is just kind of making his way through the airship. Not a whole lot going on right now. Narfman looks like he intentionally does not want to even chance getting P speed in uh, six four. If you get P speed in six four and you're not ready for it, you might actually die. It is very possible. So Narfman is looking right now. He's hoping to not get any bad RNG. On top of also um, not getting a marathon either, and he needs to go for this double clip here. The, the double with the D spawn. Looking good. Off screen wand grab. Oh, nice try. Louie tried it, but did not did not get it. Oh, he ran on the block. He is not getting... Oh my god, he got the weirdest D spawn. You better take it slow here. Oh my gosh, that was scary. What kind of D spawn was that? I've never even seen that before. That was the most epic D spawn I have ever seen. But you love it, man. You love it. Oh, poor Louie's card. Or Louis card, it's all black and white. Narf man instantly getting good luck here. So that's gonna allow him to advance even further. <laughs> Epically fast menuing right there. I love Narf man's menuing. All right, Louis making some good work with these HBs. Nailed them. There is some, there's some weird things that can happen. That can cause uh, Louie to actually take the lead in time here. So, you never know right now. It's so hard to tell with this tournament setup. Louie with the 99 coins, epic. That's gonna change for 6-4, so he doesn't have to worry about a coin ship, luckily. Narfman also not getting a coin ship. Is Narfman gonna opt out for going? Oh, taking the damage there. Does he get the P-Speed? He does get the P-Speed. He does not get cheated out of his P-Speed there. Gonna go for the small jump, not taking damage. Oh! Watch. <sighs> He's definitely made that mistake before. He knew to be calm there. If he would have jumped right away, he would have actually taken damage. The only way to know that is to actually make that mistake and get screwed over. Ah, oh, Louis almost getting P-Speed again in that level, which is very difficult. All right. Narfman going for the first try wall jump. Is he going to get first try wall jump? No! He does not get the correct sub pixels, so he's gonna have to try and get it uh, any other try here. Nice, he gets the third try. I was gonna say, if he does go through a downward spiral there, it would give Louie a chance to catch up. However, he did not go in any spiral, uh, which is looking pretty comfortable. Louie caught up a lot in World 6 last time, but this time, Narfman is not giving him the edge to do so. We know Narfman is gonna go for the mushroom. Is How dare he get the clip a second time? My finger's on the trigger, but my gosh, if he gets it a second time, that is going to be the craziest thing I have ever seen. Two in a row. Let's see if he gets it. He does not get it. Nice try, Narf man, but... Nice try. You'd have to be pretty crazy to get it two times in a row. I would... I would gamble with a 0% chance of getting it, even though there is still a chance, but... Man, two times? All right, Louie getting some good RNG. Allow him to get through this pretty quickly, so Louie can actually definitely get the clip and the first try wall jump. So hopefully he gets some of those and uh, brings his points back up. Because his first match, Louie was killing with the, the average points of... Uh, what, what did he have? He had, uh, I think, uh, 8? 7.5 or something? It was, it was incredible. I can't remember, 7 point something? 
Anyways, it was, it was incredible. But right now, his average points are not the same as round one. Or match one, I guess you could say. So let's see here. He's going to grab the block, definitely take the damage. He's definitely going to go for the wall jump, right? I mean, there's no... Well, last time he didn't, right? This time he took the intentional damage, so I think he is actually going to go for it. Ooh, almost uh, rubbing that nipper. So with him being small Mario, I think that damage was intentional, so I think he is actually going to go for the uh, wall jump. All right, Lou, come on, man. This whole card is dark. You need something. Here he goes, man. You need something here. Come on. He doesn't get the sub pixel, so he didn't even get a chance. He did not get the sub pixel again. That's two times bad RNG. There you go. He also gets a third try, the exact same as Narf Man, right on to the two runners. Uh, getting the wall jump all together is not easy, you guys. It is not easy. Now rub those nipples, guys. All right, Louis is now gonna go into the last fortress. He is definitely going to take the mushroom. Oh, he's not taking the mushroom. He's not worrying about it. Oh, he's going back for it. He realizes, oh crap, I need that mushroom. Uh, Narf Man is going to set up for some pixel manipulation, right? He's going to move right one. There you go. Hopefully he doesn't go for the duck clip. Oh, Louis almost taking damage. Is he going to get the clip? Was it worth it? Ooh, does not get the clip, but he wanted it. Damn, man, I can't believe Narf Man in race one got that clip. That is just incredible. Such a high point value right there. You know, it should probably be worth three points just because of, like, what it is. Louis taking damage, which is interesting because he's going to have to grab the mushroom on the airship. All right, 7-1. First try on Narf Man's side. Is he going to get it? Let's see fingers on the trigger. Are you going to get it? He does not get first try. Hopefully he does not enter the level, and hopefully he does not go on a downward spiral. You can definitely lose a full minute in this level. We have seen Narf Man already accidentally go into a level. He does not, and he makes his way through. Very, very well done. 7-1 is always scary when you don't get it within the first couple tries because you, you're, you have the fear that it's going to take you 20 tries. Uh, no P-Wing for Narf Man, so he's going to do the backup uh, block throw Fire Flower. Yep, okay. Nice. Dude, we have seen some very interesting 7-2s in this tournament. Uh, some of which that you've never even really seen them in the runs. Oh! Ooh! Dude, if that Piranha Plant spawned, he would have actually, unfortunately, have taken the death there. There would have been no option for him. He would have had to bail out on all of his PCB strategies altogether if he didn't want to actually take the damage there. Or if he didn't want to take the death, sorry. Bam bam. Bam 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 bam. Nice, man. Good work. Louis is actually going to go for the sub pixel manipulation as well as we've already seen. Move one pixel right, and then boom, he is good to go. However, sometimes you are not guaranteed uh, sub pixel value zero to six if you press right too hard. But the odds of that are pretty small, anyways. The odds of that are fairly tiny. All right, the epically fast menuing right there. I don't blame them though. Their, their inventories are all weird in this tournament. They're not like how they are in a normal warpless run. So I don't blame him. He wants to comfortably and take his time to look, make sure he doesn't waste any items. If he accidentally uses the warp whistle, I don't know what can help him at this point. All right, Louie, come on, man. First try, give us some points, please. Yes! Louie gets the point, man! Yes! Right on! He is out of the negative! Narf Man with the sub-pixel manipulation moves right. All right, Louie, yes! Back in the game! Average points rising. All right, Narf Man, 7-6, first try. Do not enter the level like he did last time. Let's see if he gets it. Oh, he went for the duck clip. He should have done this thing. I... He had it, too! It happens. He gets it, though. He's out of there. It doesn't matter. He, he does what he's got to do. He's out of there. Dude, Louis almost taking the damage. However, he does get the right pixel where he can just go right into the next pipe there. All right. Narf Man not having to take damage, so he can go straight 
to 7-7. Seven, seven, not getting any points in this World 7. You, th you thought he would be getting some points. All right, 7-7. Seven, seven, here we go. Does he get a first try? He does get a first try, but he gets screwed over. You hate to see that so much, man. That sucks. That is the worst thing to happen because it's like, hey, I did it, man. Come on. First try, too. That's like world record status. All right, here we go. He's doing the grind. Are we going to have another 7-7 seven, seven battle? Look at Louie. He's catching up, man. He's catching up. How long is Narf going to try this for? That's the question. Louie's catching up. Catching up. Maybe Louie gets all the points in World 7. That'll be pretty good. Narf Man's got lots of time. He knows he's got lots of time. Ah, Louie definitely... I really feel like Louie moved forward way too much for the standing clip. But we're going to see fingers on the trigger, man. 7-6. Come on, get us another point, man. We need it. We need it bad. Oh, he misses his jump, unfortunately. He needs to get this clip right now to catch up to Narf Man. The epic catch up, man. The epic catch up. The 7 7 battle, dude. He needs this clip right now. Narf Man is running out of time. Not getting the clip. Louie getting constant bad RNG. Just constant, constant bad RNG right now. This is crazy. Dude, the frustration. Come on. The bad RNG is incredible. Narf Man also just gets it again with bad RNG. Not getting the 7-7. Seven, seven. Narf Man not giving up though. He's got lots of time. When is he gonna give up? Louie gets it! When does Narf give up? What, 30 seconds? Oh, he gets it! There it is. He gets a 7-7 seven, seven point right there. Damn, that was Louie's chance to catch up. But 7-6, the gatekeeper says, I don't think so. You're not passing. Nice try, bud. All right, it's Louie's turn for 7-7. Doesn't get a first try, though. No world record status. Gets it! Second try! Woo! That is incredible! The Narf Man just got the, the other clip, too! What the heck are these clips? Narf Man does not get first try for the 7-9, though. This is Louie's chance to really make some good headway. Nice, Louie's gonna go for the wraparound, but he needs... This is a race now! This is a race! 7-7, seven, seven, the, e the great equalizer. Alright. Louie's on his way for major points in this world. Does he get clip 3 and 4? Let's see if he gets it. Right here, man. Fingers on the trigger. Ah, oh, dude. I love it when they get the first one first try, because, like, you never know, right? But now they are very close with each other. Very close with each other. This is crazy. Yeah, Narf's clip actually is a really good time save, but no points. All right. They're both on the airship at the same time. So let's so the way that Louie can really kind of have a chance here is I mean if Narfman no, because Narfman's already died, so there's not a big swing there. And no coin ships. Maybe a fanfare, but he's already got a mushroom in his first inventory. So I highly doubt that. Yeah, it's looking a little rough here for Louie, but Yeah. Alright. Since we have so many auto-scrollers up and coming, I do have chat open, and how's it going, you guys? How are you guys doing? Sorry if I'm slipping up a little bit on my words, it's just, it's... Dude, I'm like, I'm like the, like the 10th match in, and like, it's just, it's crazy, man. This is just getting so, this is getting crazy. Thwomp Squab? Yeah, the, the Swamp Squab? Yeah, the Thwomp Stomp. Yeah, Narfman will have to take some oopsie daisies. Definitely have to take some oopsie daisies here. 
What up, Greek legend? Louis is a top runner of SMB3. Well, I mean, he wouldn't have to game over, because if he game over, he would be losing, like, a lot of points with 16 lives. But I see what you mean. Pretty much what you're saying is, like, yeah, the game over. Oh my gosh, Narc, man. That was way too close. That's a beautiful attempt for the off-screen wall grab right there. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, not a not a whole lot of points to farm from from here on out. But we did watch last race with Zikabi had chances to win his race with just this off-screen one grab right here. So maybe Louis, you know, gets it. I don't know. Let's see. I ah, went for it. That's all you can ask for. All right, now the two runners are up against the Wrangless. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, I actually set up a whole bunch of my stuff last night. Uh, it turns out that GoPros work very well with the Elgato 4K cam link. Which I which I already have, so I mean technically I could actually drum stream whenever I want. Uh, I think the off-screen one grab is in four four different worlds. Uh, let's see, you got world two, you got world four, world five, and world seven. Four worlds. Technically, you can do it in world six, but that's too hard. Oh man, watch out Narf man, he, he's trying to go for the, the um, D-lag strategy, which is like, you wouldn't believe it, but it is a very, very uh, top tier uh, strategy. For the One of the main reasons why is like, nobody practices auto-scrollers really, so the only way you get good at it is just by being in this auto-scroller and remembering to try it. But most odds are, when you're in this auto-scroller, you're probably on PB pace, not getting rangless, unfortunately, but yes, you would... You're most likely on PB pace or something, so you don't want to take the chance in practicing uh, to save frames. So. Yes, the lag is really annoying. That's where the D lag strat actually came from. Uh, Freddy Anderson never developed a D lag strat in the uh, tank, and that was one of the ways where I was able to save some time on him. However, playing on the virtual console meant nothing. No, you cannot get the off-screen wand grab by jumping off the left wall. All right, now's your guys' chance. They are both on the navy. Let's find out who gets hands and who doesn't. Maybe they both get hands. Maybe they get one hands. Let's give uh, let's give Louis some audio love here. Yeah, there we go. Get some of that Louis audio. Get some of that love. Dum 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 All right, Narfman is gonna be going first. And in that hot love, let's switch back. Switch back to the Narfman, come on! He wants no hands! You got the point! It's right here! Louie got it, it's your turn now! Come on! Ah, he got the two hands. And Louis, Louis also didn't get Wrangless. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, also at the end of the day, I mean, you could try and farm points, but if you don't finish your run in the hour, your run stops and you get deducted a point. Um, so, realistically, you know, you're missing out on so many points if you stay in one place and farm. Oh my gosh, Louie almost got no hands two times in a row. He was 150-50 away. Absolutely crazy. Let's see, Narf Man, does he only get hand? He got hand two and three. I actually missed him actually get pulled in by the third hand there. Was too focused on Louie almost getting no hands again. It's pretty good. Pretty tight race in time, if you ask me. Very nice. Neither of them have taken damage, so they still have the award. So the only thing left for them right now is the race for first elevator clip and the first power up from World 7. We'll see how this goes. They're both on the Air Force. Auto scroller, not looking not looking too bad if you ask me. They're making their way through. Let's see, let's see how far behind uh, Louie is in compared to Narfman. Let's see when he let's see when Narfman, I don't know, grabs the orb. And we'll count from there. Looks like they're really, really close though. So Narfman is gonna grab the orb at a 5131. 5131 is when Narfman grabbed the orb. Looks like Louie's gonna grab the orb at a 51 with 43. 5143, wow, two seconds. No, sorry. I was thinking 31 and 41. That would be 10 seconds. He's got a little bit of a he's got a little bit of a lead. Oh! He loses P speed. Oh, he gets it back. He gets it back. <laughs> 8 1 is the hardest. Here we go. He's not doing the sand of shame. He's not worried. He says, I don't know. Oh my gosh, and he almost takes damage. Louis as well, not going for the Sand of Shame. No shame in it, though. Let's see what happens. Narfman making it through. It's Louis' turn. He loses his P-Speed. Let's see if the Sun cooperates. Sun is looking good on his part. Does he get the Fanfare? He does not get the Fanfare. All right, he is safe. Neither of them have lost the original power-up, though. Unfortunate. If Louis, Louis getting knocked out here potentially means... He does not get opt-in for any cash prize whatsoever. Oh man, this is pretty risky. All right, no, no two cycles from either of them. Looking pretty hot. It's still, uh, it's, this is still a fun race in terms of time, right? The points are a little one-sided here, but time is always still very interesting as well. It doesn't look like they're gonna get the sub-54, though, being as they still have an auto-scroller after this level, but... Uh, I don't know if I want to want it. I didn't really want to do a community driven prize pool for the season one yet um, What I wanted to do was uh, you know do this all one very certain way and then um, in future seasons if people want to see these racers earning more money um, I will periodically probably up the cash prize uh, per season so it, it gets higher and higher it gets more critical and more you know, more competitive, but uh, maybe I'd be open to the idea for a, a crowdfunded season, right? May why not? It could be interesting. I'd like to see someone win $3,000 play Mario or something, right? Like, that'd be pretty cool. That'd make you feel pretty good if you did that. All right, Narfman is going to be the first one to fight the Boom Boom here. Again, so not getting the sub 54. He still has the original power up. Does he get the elevator clip to give him a higher points average? Let's see how it goes here. Does he get the elevator clip? I'm right on the trigger here. Does he get it? 
Doesn't even do the duck input. I think he's memeing at this point. He said, he's not even trying anymore. Come on, man. All right, Louie, let's go. Get the, get the clip. Ah, Louie gets it. Yes, man. You gotta love the points. They both have their original power up as well. So not looking too shabby here. Not looking too shabby at all. I got my notepad open so we can calculate all the times, get everything organized. They're both in Bowser's castle. If Narfman takes damage, he will actually get second place here. Does he take damage? He's going. He just, oh my gosh, and he gets the fast upside down kill. You love to see it. So close in times. So Narfman gets a time. It's looking like a 55-59, maybe. Fifty-five, fifty-eight. Where Louie gets the 56. 11. Very close. All right, so let's do the points. Narfman, first place, sub-60. And the original power-up. Louie, he got the clip, sub-60, second place, and the original power-up. Right on. So Louie with 4.5. And Narf with another 9.5. The exact same points as last game. Wow. Wow, that was crazy. Yeah, okay, so Louis started a little bit late, but yeah, uh, Narfman still won. He, Louis didn't start late by over 10 seconds, so he's still pretty good. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Incredible. The second race was definitely not as hype as the first race, but these point system tournament matches aren't always going to be the hypest of the hype. So, Narfman is going to advance for anyone wondering... Here is the stats right here. We got we got game number one. Louie with a time of 55, 28, 3.5 points. Narfman with a time of 57, 16, 9.5 points. Game two, Louie with a time of 56, 11 with 4.5 points. And Narfman with a 55, 58 with 9.5 points.